Welcome friends to my channel Dune Cinema. The story began with a woman whose interview was being given by her own children. Mom says that I have not met my parents for the last 15 years. Actually, I had married my favorite school teacher. But my parents did not like him at all. Because of this, they threw me out of the house. There was a girl and a boy in their children. The name of the daughter is Biker. Mom says that I am very happy with one thing. After 15 years, my parents have finally found me through the internet. And now they want to meet their daughter's children. So Biker and her brother went to meet their grandparents who live in another city. Now they saw the children for the first time, so everyone was very happy. After which they bring the children home. This house was in a very open and deserted area. It was also snowing here. But when the two children came to their room, they found that there was no signal in our mobile phones. Now before going to sleep at night, their grandfather came to the room. He said that no one will go to the private room. Because there is a lot of useless stuff. So you can slip and fall. And yes, children, you know that your grandmother and I have grown old. So we go to sleep very early. Around 9.30. That's why we have made a rule that after 9.30, no one goes out of the room. So you also take care that no one comes out after this time. Saying this, they leave from there. But as soon as it was 10.23 at night, Becca, who was not sleeping, she had a heart to eat her grandmother's favorite dish. So even after refusing, she quietly came out of her room. At the same time, she was also making a video. But then suddenly she saw her grandmother in a very strange condition. She was wearing a lot of open white clothes. The hair was also open. She was vomiting everywhere. Seeing this, Becca was completely surprised. So she comes back to her room and goes to sleep. But the next morning when she woke up, she came out and saw that her grandmother was absolutely fine. She is sitting with her brother Tyler and talking. She is also making breakfast for him. That's why she goes to her grandfather and tells him about last night. That her grandmother was very sick. On which the grandfather began to explain. Son, don't worry. Actually, he has a stomach problem. He has taken medicine and he is absolutely fine. Now both the children see that there is such a place below the house where a person can drink. Can't walk. Because it was a very small place. The place that the children like to play a lot. That's why she decides to play hide and seek here. But when both were inside, then a long-haired woman walks towards Becca. Becca stopped all of a sudden. But when she turned around and saw, she was very scared. She runs out immediately. After which she also clings to Tyler. But he also escaped somehow. But he didn't come out. He was still inside. That's why Becca was worried about him. She goes inside to check her brother. Where that woman came again behind Becca. She says, I will catch you, Becca. Where will you escape? After hearing this, Becca comes out again. Where this time her brother also came out together. But at this time, the woman who was behind them, the strength of the knees comes out. It was found that she was no one else but the grandmother of the children. Who was joking with them? She started laughing loudly by sparing them. After their departure, the children got very angry. Anyway, now they go to the school with their grandfather where their mother used to study. They had cameras in which they were making videos because they wanted to make the whole film here. When they reach there, their grandfather says that I feel something strange. Like someone is following us. There was a boy standing there. To whom the grandfather goes and starts beating him without thinking. Although the child also refuses him. But the grandfather did not listen. The children were very surprised by this because he was not really following them. He did not even know them. When the two children were sleeping in their room at night. Then suddenly Becca's eyes opened with a voice. When he went near the door and listened with his ears. 
then it seemed as if a wall outside was scratching the door. She immediately wakes up her brother and tells him about it. The brother says that we should open the door. When the door was opened, he saw his grandmother again in a very strange condition. His face was facing the wall. She was scratching the wall with her nails. Before the grandmother's eyes went on him. She quickly closed the door. But now her condition was very bad. The next morning Becca tells her grandfather about the strange behavior of her grandmother. I do not understand what is with them. On which the grandfather tells that your grandmother has a mental illness. Like some people go to sleep at night. Because they have this disease. Similarly, the disease that your grandmother has is called sundown. In this, people do strange things in the dark of the sun at night. At that time she is not conscious. And this happens only after 9.30. So now it would be better for both of you. Do not come out of your room at this time. After a while, her grandmother says to the window. Children, I am sorry. I made a mistake. While cleaning, I got something on the camera of your laptop. Although I tried to clean it. But it did not happen. Hearing this, Tyler began to doubt his grandmother. That he did it on purpose. And what she does at night, she does it on purpose. After which she talks to her mother on the phone. Tyler tells his mother that I do not feel good here. Grandfather and grandmother are very strange. They do the opposite things. Hearing this, his mother began to laugh. Son, there is nothing like that. She is very good. She loves you people. You must be feeling like this because she has become old. So my child, do not worry. Live comfortably. Enjoy. Becca also agrees with her mother. After a while, Becca goes to her grandmother. Grandma, I want to interview you. Because whatever you say, I have to record it. To which his grandmother agreed. The first question was asked. When mom left the house, how did you feel? Hearing this question, something started happening to his grandmother. She closes her mouth and shakes her head loudly and says. No, I will not give you an interview. Now Tyler had a doubt on his grandmother. So to know the truth, he starts installing a secret camera in the room outside. But then Becca came here. She tells him that no, Tyler is a very bad act. You can't do this. So when both the girls were in their room, they started hearing loud noises of someone's footsteps outside. As if someone is running in the house. Tyler says, I open the door and see. What happened? Becca says, be careful. Not completely, open the door slightly. To which Tyler opens the door slightly and looks outside. Where his grandmother was running around the house in her daily condition. Then suddenly the strength of her knees began to move towards them. Now before she enters the room, Tyler quickly closes the door and comes inside. Tyler asks her. Becca, this is a very strange act. Does this happen in a child disease? To which she says yes. It is not such a big problem. It is exactly the same when someone walks in sleep. And you also used to walk in sleep in childhood. The next morning a woman came here who was the neighbor. She asks the children, where are your grandparents? The children said that they are not at home now. And why did you come? To which she started telling. Actually, she had to come to the hospital on Saturday. Because she did not come, I thought that I would come to meet her. Because when I entered the hospital, she also took care of other patients along with me. Because she is the head here who helps people. That's why I have brought a cake for her. Now after a while when her grandparents came home, Becca heard Grandma laughing loudly. When she went there, Grandma was laughing looking back and forth towards the wall. Becca immediately went to her. She asks, Grandma, are you okay? Why are you laughing so loudly? To which Grandma started telling. Son, I have a fear inside. There is a very dangerous kind of fear. 
Saying this, she tries to put her scarf on her face and try to suffocate herself. So that she dies. Seeing this, Becca got scared. She started saying. Stop grandma. Grandma, stop. What will you do? Will you stop doing this? And then she stops her hand and stops her. Grandma, what is all this happening? Why did you do this? When grandma says in a very innocent way. Son, the fear inside me is so dangerous that I have to laugh to endure it and hide it. Becca felt strange to hear this. So to tell all this, she immediately went to her grandfather. But she sees that her grandfather is ready to take his life by turning his face towards his face. But when she looked at Becca, she got scared. In fear, began to clean the gun. Says. Son, I was just cleaning the gun. I was not going to burn myself. Seeing this, she felt strange. She understood that something is wrong here. Not only grandma, but also her grandfather has some mental illness. There are some things here that we will have to understand. That's why she puts a secret room with her brother where her brother was going to wear. After which they both came to their room. But as soon as the time started after 9.30, grandma took a knife in her hand and started banging outside her room. And then she starts knocking on her door. The next morning when she got up and checked the camera. Seeing this, both the girls were very scared. Becca tells her that today is our last day here. Tomorrow we will leave from here. Okay? So don't worry. And yes, everything has to be done so that they do not doubt. Then when they were playing outside, Grandma comes and asks if everything is fine. Becca replies that everything is fine, Grandpa. But I want to interview you. And now she sits her grandfather and answers questions from him. She asks, when you used to work, how did you feel? Grandma says that during work, I used to see a white shadow all the time. Whose eyes were yellow? Who always roamed there? Hearing this, Becca was convinced that there is definitely something wrong with her grandfather. Because she was doing something, she was getting something else from the answers. Also, it was found here that there is such a disease in Nana. Because of which she always wore diapers and pampers. Because she did not have control. She does not know at all. She makes her clothes dirty. Now after a while, her neighbor comes who had brought the cake. The children see from above that Nana Nana was arguing with that woman about something. But after a while, they agree to take her inside. After a while, Nana Nana came out. After seeing this, Tyler tells Becca that they had also taken that woman with them. And she was alone outside. She did not come. Because of which both were very scared. Now Becca had fixed the camera on her laptop. Which was spoiled by grandma. And because her mother had also returned home. That's why both the kids call her video. She said, mom, now sit in the car quickly and come to pick us up immediately. On which mom says, son, I will come. What happened? Stay relaxed. It is such a long journey, how can I come in the car? Becca tells her, Mom, you do not know, something very strange is happening here. Mom asks, tell me, where are your grandparents at this time? Becca answers, she is standing below. Mom said, just show me. On which Becca shows her grandparents on video call. Mom was very surprised to see them. She says, children, this is not your grandparents. Where are your real grandparents? Children answer that since we have come here, we have been living with them. We have not seen anyone in the house except them. Mom was very scared. She immediately starts calling the police. But she could not get in touch with the police. She got more scared. She says, children, do not worry. I will try to reach you soon. Then her fake grandparents came here. She says, children, we will play a board game today. As soon as night fell, both the children began to make a plan to leave from here. As soon as they opened the door, 
the dead body of the neighbor was hanging on the tree. Before leaving from here, the fake grandparents came and closed the door. They said, come children, now we play a board game. But during the game, Becca says, my camera's battery is low. I put it on charge like this. Here Nana had made the toilet in clothes. That's why she also left from here. And now only Nani and Tyler were here. Suddenly her grandmother starts eating strangely from normal. Then she looked at the camera and started screaming loudly. After a while, when the fake grandparents came back, she saw her grandmother standing in a very strange position. And she says just one thing, it seems that it is 9.30. That's why they take her inside the room. Now Becca goes to the kitchen because she had come here to find the real grandparents. Here she gets a picture of the real grandparents. Along with a shirt on which it was written about the mental hospital. Which was actually a mental hospital. Then Becca puts it there and as soon as she removes a blanket, she sees the dead bodies of two old people. Which is no one else but her real grandparents. Seeing whom she got scared. But then her fake grandparents come here. Actually, the shirt that Becca got from the mental hospital was hers. Because her mental balance was not at all right. She was in there. Actually, her real grandparents used to go to the hospital to help people. When these two were also patients in the same hospital. The real grandparents had brought them to their house. But because she was already crazy, she killed the real grandparents and took their identity herself. She also killed the neighbor because she had known that these two are not real, but fake. Because they were all in the same hospital. And now she forcibly brings Becca upstairs. Saying that today is the last night of all of us. He locks Becca in the room where his fake crazy grandparents are. Even at this time, the grandparents were in a state of madness. She attacks Becca by clinging to him. Then she moves back again and tries to scare him by covering him with a sheet. Due to which his condition got very bad. Now she clings to him from behind and attacks him again. She hits him hard on the mirror. Then she starts behaving like an animal by putting him on the bed. As if she will bite him. Before that, she kills him. She grabs a piece of broken glass and attacks her grandmother. She keeps hitting the glass in her neck again and again. And takes her grandmother's life very mercilessly. At that time, Tyler was very scared. Then a fake grandparent comes to him and says, I don't like you from the beginning. And you have a problem with germs and germs. You have an allergy. Actually, Tyler was allergic to dirt. That's why this fake grandparent takes out her diaper, which was completely dirty, and puts it on Tyler's face. But then Becca comes from behind and clings to the grandparent. She grabs him and tries to break his eyes. Tyler was also very angry. He had also lost his control. This madman, who was hitting his sister, pushes him near the fridge. Then he hits him so much from the fridge that he takes his life. After doing this, Tyler started screaming loudly. With great difficulty, Becca calmed her brother and brought him out of the house. She saw that our mother has come here with the police. Now the children's mother came to her and started crying a lot. Becca takes care of her mother. They hug each other and cry a lot. The story of this film ends here. Thanks for watching don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel.